Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab. So first of all, just simply log in to your credentials and once done with that, just simply come back over here, click on the checkbox and then just click on activate and continue. Now here just simply search for the Vertex AI over here like this way, open this thing new tab and just simply come back over here. Now first of all what you do, you have to just make click on this enable all recommendation API. Make sure that you have to click over there. Now just make click on this workbench. And then just make click on this user manage notebook. And now just make click on this open Jupyter lab over here. Now it is going to take a couple of seconds to launch Jupyter notebook. Meanwhile, what you do in the description box of this video, I will share one GitHub link. Just make click on that link and then you are able to access this file. Now what you do, you have to just make download this file over here. So just make click on this download button over here and it's downloaded. Okay. Now just make come back over here. Wait for a second. And it's done. Now you have to just upload the file which is just downloaded from my GitHub repo, like this way. Just simply click on this open. And it's come back over here. Now just simply double click over here. Okay. Now if you're using a Jupyter notebook for the first time, so for running a shell or you can say command, you can just simply click on this play button over here or you can just simply hit shift and enter. But make sure that before running any particular shell, your kernel status must be ideal. So as you can see, it's ideal now. So now we can just simply run this shell. So just simply hit shift and enter over here like this way. Now if you just simply hover over here and from here you can see it's busy now. So just simply wait. And it's ideal now. Now just simply scroll down over here. So we are done with the first shell. Now what you do, we have to just simply restart the kernel. So just simply run this shell over here like this way and just simply wait over here. Then you will get this kind of pop-up kernel restarting. Just simply click on this OK and just simply hover over here. So it's ideal now. Okay. Make sure that once your kernel status is ideal, then only you have to run each and every shell. Okay. Now what you do, you have to just run all the shell at one time. So just hit shift and enter like this way. And it's done. Now just wait. Now just click on this here over here like this. Now no need to worry about this kind of error. Now what you do, first of all just me click on this cross over here and then you can see this clone icon just me click over here. Wait for a second now. Now just me click on this continue over here and then just me click on this submit. And it's done. Now just me click on this back arrow over here. Now here you can see both these pipelines are running. Okay. Now here you can see this hello world pipeline. Now this pipeline is going to take at least 5 to 10 minutes for succeed. And once it's done, we are done with this lab. So just may wait for a couple of minutes.
and as you can see after 4 minutes and 48 seconds our job is succeed now if you just may come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for each and every task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated for any particular task no need to worry just simply wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on a particular lab without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab again i am saying if you are not able to get a full score on the task number four no need to worry about that you have to just simply wait for at least more than 10 minutes over here and you will get a full score over here without any issue if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys